Hola a todas, todos y todos. Estamos aquí una semana más en la entrevista de SC Plus España y Eurovisión Sound. Eh, esta semana nos acompaña Mónica Liu, la, gan la ganadora de, voy a intentar decirlo bien, Pavando Mishnauja, eh, lituano. Sí. Good morning. How are you, Mónica? Buenos días. I'm fine. <laughs> How are you? Fine, fine too. Congratulations on winning the Pavan Domishnauja. Uh, thank you so much. I'm not sure if you should congratulate me. <laughs> That's what I say. But I, I, I'm, I'm happy. I really appreciate this opportunity. So, uh, first of all, you, you have been called like the retro diva of Eurovision. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel about this nickname? Uh, well, all the nicknames that I've, I've gotten in my life, but none of them I liked, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but this one, I would say, is one of not not so bad. Not so uh, bad. Yeah, I don't know if, if it's retro. I would not say it's retro, but whatever people see it, the way they see it, it's okay for me. I accept all of it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I understand what why people. Is use the word retro. I get it, mm -hmm. um, but I would say uh, my song is spooky disco. So I'm the queen yeah. of spooky disco. <laughs> spooky di disco diva, maybe it's yeah. better for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. So first of all, um, I want to talk about your beginning in music because you start so early um, at five, four, five years playing oh, yes. the, the violin maybe so <clears throat> when I, uh -huh. what, what is your relation and your beginning with music yeah my mom is a musician so minus nine months before i am already in music minus nine months of my life when i when she was pregnant with me i was already <laughs> living music because she was always playing it um and yeah so basically that's what happens when you're born in a musician's family Uh, but when I, I'm sorry, these are actually, I use them in Eurovision <laughs> and the socks. Uh, but when I was three years old, you will not believe, but I attended ballet theater. I was a ballet dancer when I was three years old and I was the fattest in the whole ballet group. <laughs> and but the yet. fun, and I, I sucked at ballet. So at five years old, they put me to music school and they just, Straight away, they gave me violin. So I started playing violin when I was five. When I was 14, I felt in love for the first time seriously. And I started singing. And then on and on, I just, after school, uh, uh, I attended Berklee College of Music in Boston, where I got wow. scholarship. So I was studying jazz music there. I met loads of Spanish people there. Even my <laughs> one of my, um, uh, one of my, uh, best roommates was a Spanish percussionist um so many many Spanish musicians were there so so yeah and then I and then I lived in London I worked there uh then I lived in London and I worked there as in music industry <laughs> I used to write uh, melodies uh, for other artists and uh, perform in different kind of projects and then I got back to Lithuania and two years later here I am In Eurovision. <laughs> Eurovision. But so, I tapped a bit, uh, slightly my foot in Eurovision pond before when I, I was the co-writer uh, of the song when Monica and Vidas participated. I'm feeling love, mm -hmm. round and round and round. I wrote this chorus. So, so uh, lit, lit, um, your relation with the festival, it's always... Like you want to participate in Eurovision or it's a dream come true or or it's like new because you told us you have participated in the composition of a song. So it's always an aspiration or what? It, it just once uh, I, I co-wrote the song that participated for Lithuania in Eurovision in Vienna. Uh, but before, I've never ever participated in Eurovision. This is the first time, and it's and it's a, it's a success. But um, uh, in Lithuania, Eurovision is a huge thing. Really, yeah, it's not like a fun thing. It's for everybody, and everybody follows it. It's the most serious 
thing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> serious? Well, it really oh, it's seems serious. Oh, it's life or death. <laughs> it's yeah. that serious. <laughs> it's Because, really so serious. Yeah. So, they're gonna kill me if if I'm not gonna get into finals. They're gonna kill me. No, I'm no. gonna be eaten by dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be burned like a witch. It's gonna be bad. Oh my God. It's gonna be sad and bad. It's so serious. We hope no. We, we hope you can reach the final for your own safety because we want you. We want life. you alive. Yes, yes, please. So, I, I, I promise everything. I'm not gonna <laughs> sing anymore. Just keep me alive after this. It's your, that serious. Your song "Sentimente" um, has been composed uh, expressly for the festival, for Eurovision, and and the Pavandom is now ja, or you no. already had it? I already had it uh, because it's going to be one of uh, one of the songs from my upcoming album. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, I just felt when I was recording in London this song because I'm I have my recordings there when I was recording it. Uh, the album version is nine minutes, so I nine was nine minutes. Some... Yes, because we were chatting. <laughs> you so, need a festival for your own. <laughs> yes, it's just three minutes. And one day told me, "Oh, that has to be the record. Has to be three minutes." I was like, "Oh no! How am I gonna put everything I want in that song just in three minutes?" But so the album version is gonna be extended. So it's one of the songs of my upcoming album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, when I I had COVID twice. Uh, but second time it was easier. And when I had COVID, it was the last days of uh, deadline for participating in Pabanda Mishnoya. And I was like, oh my God, I am lying in this bed. I just have to apply for Eurovision <laughs> because this is the thing I need to do before I die, you know? <laughs> It's like, yes, I, I understand you. It's not the mm -hmm. same for me because I can sing, but uh, if, I, I, if I sing, I, I will try it. For sure. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell a little bit about the message of, of your song because, you know, it's like a disco song. Um, it's, it's, you have it's this, this um, retro um, aesthetic, but retro futuristic yeah. aesthetic and your charisma. It, so tell us about all your yeah. performance. Uh -huh. one, it's like, mm -hmm. I'm inviting people to join my world. Uh, I don't want to uh, get them, I don't want it to be too serious because after all these hard uh, years that we all have experienced with COVID, with pandemic, it, it's been really, really hard. I want people just to enjoy art again, enjoy theater, enjoy stories of other people, just get drawn into someone else's world because this song is about a woman who who prefers to live in the past and to live in sentiments instead of uh, in, in, in present. So this song is a story about a woman who used to be a diva, uh, who used to be a singer, but all that life is in her past and she just can't live with everything that's now. So she's inviting you and hypnotizing you to get involved into her, her world. Oh, very nice. Uh... Yes, I Yeah. So sentimente, it's like feelings, the translation. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. okay. Sentimental. Sentimental. So uh, I understand now the message because um, okay. has this vision of the past, but um, with a new view, point of view, maybe, and yeah, inviting yeah, yeah. people to join it. Yes. Yes. And okay. there is like like a living in a dream. This song is like a dream. It's just it's hypnotizing, and in uh, when uh, you, you were hypnotizing in the performance. We are going to take about this now, one later. But you have uh, did it so well because you are so charming, and your the way you move your arms and everything. We are like uh, idiots looking at you and following <laughs> following with you with following oh. your your eyes, your arms, your dress. It's It's amazing. Nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, because I actually, I am that woman that was living like that because I remember the period in pandemia where I was just living in my room and I was like, 
what's happening? Am I still alive? <laughs> Am I dead? Am I physical? Where, where, what is the material world? I don't understand anything. It was like, I am living in a dream. I felt like I was living in a dream, not in a romantic way, in a bad way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's what it's the like fuck? a nightmare. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, it's more spooky. It's like yeah. a, a huge, huge what the fuck. And I don't understand <laughs> anything else. And I was like, oh my God, nothing is happening anymore. So I better live in my past memories and my, you know, just in my yes, memories. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. It was so, a crazy year. So talking about the performance and the staging, um, you were uh, alone in the, in the stage with that movement, yeah. you, you, you think a lot, you thought a lot about how it was going to be because uh, it's like a very simple staging, but I think it has a lot of, um, I don't know how to say it, um, the, boom, the movements are so precisely do it. Deep. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite intimate. Yes. So I, I had uh, many ideas, but I chose the way to have it like less is more mm -hmm. for now uh, because that's how I want. That's how I wanted. I just wanted to tell the story about that woman in that song. Um, but, you know, I would love to have dancers. I was like, hey, <laughs> little, uh, hey, all of you guys pop in into my performance. <laughs> <laughs> Because I would love to be not alone on the stage, but at the same time, I'm also enjoying being just by myself there because no one can't, then nobody's telling me what to do. Because mm -hmm. I don't like when people tell me what to do. I, I like to do what I feel at that moment. And so all you, those. You didn't study the, mo study the no, movements? No. Are your movements, but you have the connection with the camera and, and everything. No. And you feel on mm -hmm. the stage. You are all alone and you feel every every part of the stage it's amazing you know i have these gigs uh, that last for about three hours and it's just me and the piano player mm -hmm. so i have been having these gigs for about like four years and i'm used to this being alone on the stage and trying to take all the audience just because it's way harder it's easier when you have a huge show dancers loads of music everything you know you can hide behind it i cannot i have nothing to hide behind uh i just yeah it's just me the way i am and hey guys i'm gonna sing for you this beautiful song and just mm -hmm. let's have this three minutes intimate together and just forget about everything that's around so um it was amazing i i like it so so much thank you so uh, much so you reach the max point. This is my my cat. Sorry. <laughs> What's her or his name? Is his name is Mistol. Is the <laughs> it's a name of a, a cleaner a clean a cleaner product in in Spain. <laughs> Le... Mistol. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> He's ignoring you. He's oh my god. He hates me. Be quiet. No, no, because. He is so shy. He he has uh, he's afraid of people. Everybody. Okay. okay. Um, so, <laughs> um, talking again. You has reached the um, max punt maximum punctuation of the public and also of the sure. televoting. No, no, of the jury. So how yeah. how does it feel? That was my main uh, concern. I, I was thinking if I would get maximum from jury, but not from the uh, voters, I would feel bad. I would feel that I don't deserve this. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would never, oh, such a nice girl. <laughs> <laughs> I would not, yeah, I would not feel comfortable. Uh, I would feel confusing, I think. I would not, now I'm sure. Uh, they chose me. It's 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 okay <laughs> because uh, yeah that was my main concern. If mm -hmm. I'm gonna win, then I'm gonna I'm, I need to I want to have it from jury and the audience as well. So what? So, congratulations! I'm you are happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so um, there is going there is gonna be any change 
uh, of the staging for Eurovision? You have thinking in other things or maybe you are going to do the same thing, the same dress. I'm so curious about the dress because oh, it is no, so yeah. nice. I don't know. I'm so <laughs> confused. So many. Now I have so many options in my head and there are so many opinions, so many people with different opinions. And I was even thinking, oh, maybe I should grow my hair longer. And then like everybody was on the twin and no, <laughs> you have to keep your hair like that. <laughs> But then everything else, even the dress, at first I was thinking maybe I should change and I, I had in mind the other dress, but now I don't know anymore. I'm so confused. But of course, it's going to change. It should just get better. But in general, I'm going to be the same. It's going to be still me doing the same the same thing, my, my thing. So, yeah. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's Yeah, I would love to have dancers. <laughs> you are dreaming with dancers. <laughs> Yes. Maybe for a vision you can bring it, bring it them with you. Maybe the Lolita Zero dancers. dancers. I already thought, I asked them, hey guys. <laughs> maybe so, I'll see because it's still just a couple of days after after we have this election. So uh, I'm thinking intensively, everyone, all my team. Uh, what do you what do you think about your song in Eurovision? Um Uh, why do you think that your son could win Eurovision? What is uh, it is its strength? I don't know if it's gonna win. I, I don't know. I know nothing. But you know what? I had. I just feel I have this mission. It's been since 1999. Mm -hmm. There was no Lithuanian language in Eurovision. Yeah, it's uh, yes. <laughs> okay it's the like, first time okay years. it's 155 years it's a it's it's i've been like guys why are we doing this why don't we just trust our language why don't we want to be proud about it because it's beautiful is is the oldest in the european language in the whole europe so uh, why are you shy about about that and i had to be brave to sing not in english Because uh, people here, they were like, oh, no, we can't sing. Not, we can't sing in Lithuania, and only English, only English. I said, like, you just have to relax, ac accept who we are. It's, the language is beautiful. And I, I, I wrote it. It sounds nice. It doesn't sound like. It doesn't sound like. <laughs> it sounds quite easy. Softy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, so I said, please, this year, let's try after so many years with Lithuanian language. And next year we can go again, German, English, whatever language. <laughs> But I am brave enough to just go with Lithuanian language. Nobody else would do that. I was the only one singing in Lithuanian. You are. That was the only one. So, you know, it means that people are shy about their language maybe because in the finals, it was just me singing in Lithuanian, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> And just th that's my mission. I really, really want Europe to hear our language, and I want Lithuanians to be proud about our language. But but we saw it like last year that uh, the f mm, the winner was in Italian, the second was in French, the third was in French, uh, the fifth was in Ukrainian. So mm -hmm. I think the um, Europe is changing in. In, in that way they like you know, all, um, these, mm -hmm. all these countries are uh, are powerful big countries this is like their language is known internationally you know Your communities are so big but we Lithuanians are so small tiny 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 we're like that you know so Uh, it's that's why they think that. Uh, but I always said, "I'm like, listen, they all been singing in their own languages. Why should we not? Oh, it's not beautiful. Oh, it's not famous." And blah 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 blah. I said, "No, just just shut up, just stop thinking bad about yourself, and let's go <laughs> with our language." Um, and I think it's that might be what it's interesting for other people and. Yeah, I, I feel brave. I feel I'm sure about it. I, I, I'm sure about myself. So it's not even so much about um, getting first 
place. I think maybe Spanish should go first this year because oh my god, yeah, you like it? <laughs> really? Oh my god! <laughs> I saw it yesterday. I was trying to do that. Well, you, you like dancers, <laughs> so you you are liking the Spanish well, entry because have five dancers. <laughs> No, that she. How to pronounce her name? Ch 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 Chanel. Chanel. Yes. She's fantastic. She's just fantastic. She's yes. fantastic. Fire. Yes. Fire, power, voice, everything. Uh, it's it's a maximum show. It's like it's like the biggest. It's like Super Bowl. It's <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's oh big, my god. Yes. And she's, she's a great dancer. She's yeah, a great singer and and. He has a powerful uh, show. So, oh my God. So you like it. We are I love it. it. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So it, speaking um, also about uh, one thing you have told us before that you are going to launch a new um, album. Um, yes. How does it uh, fit Eurovision um, in your career? Because it's like a, a break or something, or mm, your album, no, your album yes. is stopped mm -hmm. or is going to uh, be launched um, later. Later, if oh, okay. They keep me alive. If they keep me alive, we'll do it, and then I'm gonna launch it later. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, I just um, I was I had different kind of plan, but now everything changed. Uh, everything have changed. So now it's just sentiment, this song. And then when I'm back, I'm going to release more songs. And during the summer, I think I'm going to have loads of gigs. And because I'm going to have a song about champagne. Uh, oh. Yeah. So I, I need to get it out before the summer because we love champagne. <laughs> <laughs> so it has to be out. I don't know. The latest <laughs> June, you know, after Eurovision. But it's a great, it's a great uh, song about champagne. I, I, we in Spain we have one song, but it's a oh, little really? bit old. So it's like uh, un sorbito de champagne. It's something like that. So I think it's a great theme for a song. <laughs> yes, for summer. I love champagne, so yeah, I need to talk about it. <laughs> so your plans for the I'm gonna be celebrating. Okay. So your plans for the future, it's uh, like Eurovision now, later your album and yeah. for the summer, some gigs and... And then I'm planning to buy uh, two dogs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two dogs, yeah. <laughs> I've been dreaming about that for a couple of years now and I, I said... That's the time. When I'm back, that's the time. After Eurovision, you can do everything you want because <laughs> you Baby, have tested you. Dogs, gigs, <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we have to talk uh, and change a little bit and, and go into a mystical moment because mm -hmm. I like to ask you, because here in Spain, the Zodiac is very fashionable, fashionable now. Uh, I don't know if it's the same in Lithuania, but we are so obsessed about the horoscope and about the zodiac. So, uh, what's your horoscope? I'm obsessed. <laughs> Guess I'm Aquarius. Oh, so your birthday has been. Uh, it was nine, February 9. Oh, just like happy, happy birthday with the delay. <laughs> so, Thanks. do, do yeah, you believe in astrology? Yes, of course, I have my you own are astrology. Obsessed also, yeah. If you would listen to my uh, English songs, I in mm -hmm. three or four of them, I have this line where I always say, "I'm Aquarius." You're not <laughs> Aquarius. I have the song about the falafel. It's about vegan, uh, uh, and and there on the bridge, I'm saying, "I'm Aquarius." <laughs> You're not aquarius uh yes i'm obsessed because i my son is an aquarius my moon is in scorpio oh my god i have a friend <laughs> <laughs> i have to leave sorry <laughs> what is your zodiac sign i am leo oh i love <laughs> aquarius and leos go well yes. my best friend my yes. best friend Lithuanian, she's leo and she lives in spain 
Oh, maybe it's me. I am your <laughs> best friend. Yes, you are it, now. Is her bald? Because <laughs> you know she lives in Malaga. I, your your friend. Uh, I am your friend, but with a wig. So yes. when you met me, you can you can recognize me, but I am her. Uh, yes. So <laughs> uh, when when you meet Chanel, Chanel is so uh, obsessed with her oh, really? she's a leo too so you are going to oh, be a very good friend nice. of her. oh my god i'm obsessed with it <laughs> yeah i have my own astrologist really and yes and before i was participating when i was considering participating in your vision i consulted her and i said hey listen what are my uh, i love you <laughs> in the uh, in there <laughs> there in May for me, and she was like, mm, according to this and that, da, la, 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 la. So, okay, yes, yes, I, I, yeah, I, I'm obsessed I, with horoscopes, and I have tarot cards uh, somewhere here, they gone, uh, yeah, look, I'll show you. But you know how to, how to do the, the tarot? I just do it the way I feel it. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But you have, um, have you pick one card and and you know the meaning and also because I I yeah. have I have done a um, a course a year ago but I didn't let uh, learn a lot because I did it. It was um, quite hard for me to learn as well. But listen, when I have gigs, I always have this combination of the this these stones. <gasps> Very nice. It's, oh, oh, okay <laughs> but in that position and yes and i, but, keep, and I you people, know and i say people please support my sexual energy <laughs> they, the brain, they need money the more money i get the better my sexual energy is. <laughs> oh my god i didn't realize that. but so, you were yeah. amazing <laughs> yes oh i'm gonna bring this to to italy to turin so this is kind of uh, your lucky charm you are going to bring yes, it my lucky to charm. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> i want to go to turin and meet you and and do this <laughs> thing with you in the red carpet in the red carpet maybe in front of everybody oh, with the uh -huh. with the stones and the I don't know what this is the meaning of the of the name of it. So very nice. I want my male and female energies to flow together and dance in my body. Okay. So I always do so this. That's the reason that you lay dance like that. Yes. Okay. Because yes. then energy don't stop. Mm -hmm. Because the, then the energy keeps on floating and then people get those uh, waves as well. And then we enjoy those three minutes. And then, and when that, and then we go to party with Ch 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 Chanel. Chanel, I'm afraid, Chanel, Chanel. Yeah. yeah. I'm afraid to say her name in wrong. wrong. It's like the TV yeah. channel, like a TV channel, but without yeah. TV. Chanel. Mm -hmm. Because I thought Chanel. <laughs> Chanel, <laughs> Chanel. Yeah, Chanel is the brand. I think the... the the French brand of clothing. Yeah. But... So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, th thank you for yes, sharing. Okay. Thank you for sharing that because uh, <laughs> I really, really like it. You know what? Not you cannot share this with everyone. Not everyone gets. Uh, they just not everyone believes it. So I really appreciate that you do. Yeah, I have two stones. Uh, some things is like a pink. I don't. I don't know what is the word yeah, in English. Yeah, like this one maybe. Yes. Yes, I have it um, in the card of the lovers, yeah. above the card of the lovers, because someone told me that you to attract yeah. the love and something. And I have yeah. something um, purple, a uh, very purple stone yeah, I also have um, it, yeah. above the card of the, the star. Mm -hmm. It works. So yes. that's, that's why my ritual uh, right now. Mm. And I have also carrot, uh, tarot cards, and I think I have a little lucky charm that is, um, I don't know how to say it, it's like a, the eye of tiger, it's like mm. a Mexican stone, mm. and oh. it's good for, for the Leo people, I don't know. Okay, keep it.
<laughs> yes. I would love to go to me- 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 Mexico. 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 Yeah. To to what is the the famous place everyone goes there? I want to like to. I forgot the city. Uh, Guadalajara. No. Tulum. Tulum. Yeah, on the beach. Yeah. It's like a paradise. Like yeah. no, it's it's the paradise. And you can do yoga there and stones and everything. Everything. I, and there is this um, Mexican ancestors energy because of the pyramids and everything. Yes. You know, I think it's a very important uh, point to, to reach the world energy. energy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is, is kind of mystical <laughs> right now, maybe. Totally normal for me. <laughs> <laughs> for me too. Because you yes, know, I'm, <laughs> I'm yeah. enjoying it a lot. So, yes, for finish the interview, I will. I don't want to finish, but uh, <laughs> we have to finish it. So, yeah. um, uh, I want to ask you about your Eurovision favorites. Uh, first of all, uh, favorite entries of Lithuania that you remember? Scamp. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Uh, the rope, uh, Yava. I, I I really love the rope. Um, I really love the uh, si- the singer of the rope. I was in love yeah. with him the two past years. I never yeah. met him. So uh-huh. if you met him, please tell <laughs> tell okay. tell him that <laughs> uh, okay, I'm I am here yeah, waiting for him. Worked, <laughs> I worked uh, in the same TV show with him last uh, couple months. Uh, so I will tell him. Please. Yeah, so I love them. They were amazing. Um, uh, yeah, the group I would say, Vidas and Monica. Oh, unite! We are the winners, winners of, of Eurovision. Eurovision. It's a very <laughs> catchy song. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that. Very nice. <laughs> and also, uh, international entries that you really, really like or remember. Rise like a phoenix, Conchita. Oh, very nice. It was oh amazing. My. So powerful. Yeah. Such a song. Such a song. Um, oh, my God. I feel like empty now. No, it's okay. Don't be pressed. I forgot. <laughs> you have a blank. Conchita, the best one. Okay. Um. And, uh, Monaskin as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic. No, but have... yesterday, last year, there were uh, Island, the, the amazing uh, family band from Ireland. Yeah. Iceland? From Iceland. Yes. I like them a lot. Yes. Was, you know, there were so many of them, and now I, you just asked me, and I was like, oh my God, my brain is empty. Mm-hmm. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. And finally, you know any. Sp- Spanish entry from Eurovision and I don't know um, Chanel. It's one of them. <laughs> it's the best. She's the best. She's fantastic. <laughs> uh, I think it's a first place to this year. To this uh, really, I think so. Yeah. Maybe the first uh, would be you. Mm. No. <laughs> you have the charisma, you know. But those you have moves... to trust yourself. You are so charming. You have the charisma. This movement. No, we will see. We'll... we will see. You have. Yeah. You are singing see. in your own language. That is important now, and yeah. is not. It is not like um, a typical song of Eurovision. You yeah. you are Aquarius. You have a different song. And it's Aquarius age. Uh, yeah. <gasps> maybe no, it's your well, time but maybe someone else is also Aquarius well we have to ignore <laughs> that because <laughs> we yeah, are talking to you actually that's very interesting to find out uh, Elsa's uh, horoscopes I Th- promise I will ask out. everyone I will interview okay. and if I find any Aquarius I, I, will, I will tell you, know. you yes Yes. I write your, your manager I don't know the, just email me yes and and i will tell you don't be afraid okay, okay. 
So, Monica, thank you so much for having us. Thank I you. Have, I really enjoyed your interview. I wish Me you too. luck. Um, and thank I you hope so you can see again in Turin. Me too. I hope to see you and let's like play with tarot cards and like. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah and yeah so me and my stones are we are saying uh, adios amigos adios bye bye thank you thank you so much <laughs>